Well, it so happened that there was a protest in uh, Port Harcourt yesterday uh, by some groups alleging that the NNPC Group Managing Director isn't doing enough to ensure that the Port Harcourt refinery works. What's this all about? Let's go to Joseph Abile, who is the factional chairman of Ipman in River State. Thanks for joining us this morning. Can you give us a background to what this is about and why now? Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, yesterday, the Joint Stakeholders Forum in River State, comprising Ipman, Nupeng, Pensioner Tanker Drivers, and IMB members, did a, a, a peaceful march, not a protest. Uh, some persons are calling it a protest, but to we, it's a peaceful march, calling on the GND of uh, NMPC calling on the management of NNPC to do something within the next 30 days about the Ford Nigeria refinery. What we've done yesterday is for the best interest of Nigerians. It's not in any way to our personal or selfish interest. The value uh, to Nigerians, and uh, I want to put to you that all over 20 million Nigerians have lost their job, arising from the collapse of the Nigeria for refineries, Cardona refinery, Wari refinery, Potaco refinery, first and second. And the information at our reach reveal that the old premier refinery of Nigeria, built at least 1965, is good to go. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that refinery. So we refuse to believe that there's anything wrong with Nigeria for refineries. They told us, yes, pass, that there's everything wrong with the NAFCON plant on there in River State. As you speak right now, a private firm called Notorium are operating that very facility that says it is a scrap. They told us there's everything wrong with the element uh, petrochemical complex under NNPC. As you speak right now, say complex, they say is not good to go. It's running at optimal under the Indonesia's Indorama. So there is nothing wrong with the NNPC, uh, four refineries of Nigeria, but there's everything wrong with NNPC. So I want to state here that the issue with Nigeria for refineries is not technical, but institutional. But well, are you aware that the uh, managing director of the PHRC, Port Harcourt uh, Refining Company, uh, Amadiko, visited Governor Wike sometime, I think it was uh, last month or thereabout, and was, you know, went there to promise him that the full rehabilitation of the, uh, the refinery has started and it will conclude uh, by 2023. Are you also aware that the uh, GMD of NNPC that you talked about also announced the uh, successful completion of the first phase of um, the, the rehabilitation of the Port Harcourt refinery? Are you aware that work is going on in this particular refinery? Work is going on where I think I, I demand to know. We see the plant every day. We work with the plant every day. And we, we sit around the plant every day. As we speak, no work is going on anywhere. Have you had any interface with the managing director of the Port Harcourt refinery to ascertain whether or not anything is being done? I, I, I say the depth that we go for our daily activities we see the plant every day. If there's any maintenance activity as we speak, we'll be seeing it. And we are members of the host community too. As, as we speak right now, I'm telling you, there's no activity going on anywhere. The question, the refinery. The question oh, is, just one, just one moment. The question is, have you had any interface with the MD of Port Harcourt Refinery to ascertain whether or not any action is taking up? Uh, any action is taking place or going on? The stakeholders for wrote about seven different letters to the MD of Protocol Refinery, and he replied, this period of COVID-19 is not a nice time for him to have a meeting with any person. When you say that work is not going on in any of the refineries, and on the other hand, you say that the refineries are actually ready to work, how, how do you mean? What I mean is that, as we speak, there is no maintenance activity or rehabilitation activity or uh, repair activity going on as we speak. 
And we are saying the uh, old Port Harcourt refinery built 1961. Recall, we have two refineries in Port Harcourt. One is the one built 1961 with the production capacity of 50,000 barrels per day. And the second one built 1980 uh, with the production capacity of 200 uh, thousand uh, barrels per day. We are aware that uh, sometimes it go about eight months ago, they pull out some parts from the new refinery. But we are saying the old refinery, there is nothing wrong with the old refinery, but there's everything wrong with the management called NMPC. How are you certain, because it appears as though you, you have this on good authority, how are you certain that these refineries can indeed refine crude? February this year, they put on the old refinery and they said that's the technical issue that will take just three days. And after the three days, they will come up again. Just February this year. And for about 21 years now, that's the said refinery we are talking about has not been working. The first refinery in Nigeria has not been working for 21 years now. Kaduna refinery has not been working over 12 years today. Wari refinery has not been working for three years today. Then the new Portaco refinery has not been working for four years today. This is Nigeria, and people will not ask questions. So what we did yesterday is just a warning, telling them that within the next 30 days, if the old refinery is not up and running, that we will withdraw our services. Because, I mean, from the protest, or what you call the peaceful march uh, that took place yesterday, the grouse basically was the what you call the inability or the failure of the NMPC GMD to fix the refineries, not to use the refineries. So it, it, it's, it's really hard to understand what is at play here. Are you saying that you know on good authority that those refineries are ready and the government is not using them, or those refineries need some work and that work is not being done or it's not being fixed? How do we, what, what is it that you're asking for so we know what to, what to really face here? The, the uh, uh, father of uh, administrative science, Harry Fayou, stated is one of his famous, famous quotes that no reason is valid enough to justify all your points for failure. No reason is valid or sufficient enough to justify all the points you're giving for your failure. So uh, we, we advise the GND to take the part of honor since is uh, unable to fix the Nigeria for refineries. And take this again, I'm putting to you that over 20 million Nigerians, tanker drivers, about 5,000 tanker drivers are out of job. Conductors, each truck has about two, two conductors. Sorry, about why do we need to? Right, I understand. Marketers, community members, the depot community, people are, people are hungry. People mm. are hungry. The, the, the inability of the GND to fix refinery has brought on total hardship upon Nigerians. I, so I understand. We are calling. But what yes. I don't understand is why do we need to fix the refineries if you say they are working? See, I recall, they told us there's everything wrong with the element petrochemicals. As we speak, it's running at optimal. They told us there was everything wrong with the Nafton plant on there. Today, it's running under a private train. On this note, I'm telling you there is nothing, nothing. The day worry finally went down, it was operating, and the phone call from Abuja worry finally went down today. And, and, and the cardinal refinery, it's just a phone call on, on the plan. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing technical about the Nigeria four refineries. We can say so. All right, let's uh, take this, uh, let's raise the same issue with uh, Comrade Cletus Obi, who is the Eastern Zonal PRO of Ipman. Thanks for joining us uh, this morning, Comrade. Uh, I'm wondering, what do you make of all of this? Have you, I hope you've, you've been listening to Mr. Obele speak. Yes, I, yes, I'm, listening, I'm listening to what he's saying. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, what I want to tell you now is that uh, those, those guys and the family that are doing this, we don't know them. We don't know where they are from because if man has already got When you say we, who are you? Is, Just one moment. When you say we, who are we? Hello? When you say we, who are we? I mean, the, the members of if man, the members of if man have their own president. And the president of Ipman, National Ipman, 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 I want to ask that guy there, who is the national president? So uh, you're saying that 
this group that uh, organized the peaceful march is not affiliated to Ipman in any way? I, wa I want to ask that guy there who is his personal president. Are you disclaiming them? Are you saying that you don't know who they are? No, we don't know who they are because they are Taliban. Ipman has its own, its own, its own national president, and the national, the national president of Ipman is the Dr. Okorongwa. He's saying that he is the chairman, factional chairman of Ipman in River State. If he, if you're Ipman. disclaiming him now, who then is supposed to be speaking as chairman of Ipman in Rivers? If, if Ipman has no sanction as far as we are concerned. Okay. So who do you recognize then? Hello? Okay. It appears we're having some delay. If you can hear me, Mr. Obi, who do you recognize then as a chairman yeah. of Ipman in the state? The, 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 the chairman of Ipman in the state is, uh, is uh, 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 Tony Bo. Okay, well, let's take this back to Mr. Obi. Well, Mr. Obi believes that you are not the person to be speaking for Ipman in Rivers State. What is the case here? I, I don't understand what he's talking about. Uh, I think uh, the peaceful march yesterday, uh, I think uh, it's like a tsunami. Over 20,000 persons depot community gathered. And the leader of such uh, move is the person talking to you. So uh, how will you uh, command over 20,000 persons out and the, the police were there, the area commander, and me, every person. And should you be the wrong person and uh, you will be doing that? I think I don't understand what he's talking about. Okay, well, uh, Comrade Obi, he says he doesn't understand what you're talking about, and I believe you heard him. But there were issues raised. Uh, I know that there might be issues with leadership and, and what have you within Ipman, but they raised some uh, issues they, about the refineries in the country. So while this back and forth about who's the chairman is ongoing, the issues raised, what do you make of them? The issues about the refinery that is not working, we have all known it that the refinery is, is seriously under work, based on the arrangement the NMPC has made. The, the, refinery, the refinery is under, under Panorama maintenance, which is ongoing. And as far as we are concerned, we don't know whom they are. They are Salatan, as I have told you. Ipman has a subsisting case in Supreme Court, which has decided is the case of Ipman. Ipman has no function, Ipman has no case. The, the national president of Ipman is uh, the of Kurongwa. He has, he has told everybody to, to keep, keep calm that he's working with the NMPT to ensure that, that everything about a particular problem, a problem in Portugal and the whole nation is solved. These people are interlopers. They are, they are charlatans. They are impostors. Nobody knows them. The members of Ipman are respected people who have engineers, doctors, lawyers, who All right. are into... Comrade, if you say... If you're saying that you do not know these guys, that they are imposters and all of that, what then is Ipman in the state making? What are the actions that your body will be taking to ensure that these things that has begun with this faction does not go out of hand? Uh, 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 what we are doing now, we are following the law. Nobody can, nobody can turn around the, the clock of the law. The law has said it that the, the, the national president of Ipman is uh, Dachira Do Koronkwa. And the Dachira Do Koronkwa has already organized what I call Depa as it is. These people you see are people that are bad losers. In 20,000 people that walked with him yesterday, according to him, are you saying, he said there were about 20,000 people who marched with him yesterday. Are you saying all those people are also charlatans? Or are you saying that it's not true that what he's claiming, you know, happened? I say the majority of those people you see there are hired. Most of them are hired. They're not partisans. My thoughts don't behave like that. Right. Uh, so, Mr. Obele, he has made those claims. And I'm thinking, regarding the national chairman of Ipman, are, are you in conversation with him? What is the relationship like? And what are you hearing from the national body? So, I, I'm here talking on behalf of uh, 
the, the Ipman group in River State. So whatever is happening in Abuja, the national headquarters, I think I, I, I'm the security chairman of Ipman River State. I think uh, whatever is happening in Ipman national headquarters, I think I, I, I cannot really talk about that. But I have my national president, the person of uh, engineer uh, Fari Sanusi. He is the national president of Ipman. So I don't want to talk about the national leadership, sir. What we are saying here is that at Portaco Depot, and now let me put to you, the peaceful match is the, the commissioner of, of uh, energy and natural resources, River State, the person of Dr. Peter Mede was there. And I think you should play the video for Nigerians to see. The area commander of police in River State, Mr. Martins was there. The army major colonel was there, head of DSS were there, and 20,000 persons composed themselves. The whole tanker drivers, leadership of tanker drivers, leadership of IMB and Lupin were all in attendance. I think try and play the clip for Nigeria to see what happened and how we composed ourselves. And the conduct was so peaceful, and the police commended us. That even in the video there with you, the, the head of police made a speech too, even the commissioner of River State. So I don't understand what he's talking about. So we are here talking about facts and the problem biting on Nigerians. And we are here calling on NMPC to do something about, uh, okay, even if I'm a fashion leader or whatever you may think, is it wrong to call for the repair of Nigeria for refineries? A particular line in our, in, in our Athens, Nigeria Athens, states that we will not let the labels of our heroes pass to be in vain. So our heroes pass labored much to build these four refineries. Now, are we not letting that labor to be in vain? Thank you very much, uh, Joseph Obele. Although, you know, security officials have to be there uh, by reason of their own duty whenever there is any public gathering so that things do not go out of hand. So, but that's, that's that. We have to thank you very much, uh, Joseph Obele, factional chairman, Ipman River State, as well as Comrade Clotus Obi, Eastel Zona PRO of Ipman, who joins, joined us via phone. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time.